1997, researchers in the Antarctic have placed an array of hydropones, or extremely sensitive underwater micropones, in the oceans in hopes of detecting sounds created by volcanic activity. This was done so they could have a greater idea about the size, number, and location of volcanic events taking place under the oceans, which of course aren't visible on the surface. Now, along with detecting some volcanic activity, the hydrophones also picked up an extremely loud sound, which became to be known as the bloop. The sound was similar to someone blowing bubbles underwater and then the bubbles rising to the surface. However, the same noise had been recorded on hydrophones that were located approximately 2,000 miles apart, meaning the sound had travelled a considerable distance to where the hydrophones were actually located. The origin was almost still near the Antarctic. It's ruled out many mundane causes, as there were few sounds that can clearly be heard across 2,000 miles of cold ocean water. Now, the bloop noise came from an area near the Antarctic, west of Chile in South America. It was both of ultra-low frequency, but also a high amplitude, which enabled it to travel the considerable distances and yet still clearly be detected. What were some of the possible sources for what's known as the bloop? Well, these were divided into generally large groups, natural sources and artificial sources. And most of the natural sources would be large ocean animals like giant squids and whales. And one potential source favoured by many speculators was that there was some as yet unknown large marine mammal hiding in the depths of the oceans just waiting to be discovered. One of the known animals, though, were fairly quickly ruled out as making the types of sound recorded by the hydrophones, or not actually being able to create a large enough or powerful enough sound to be detected. The other major area of thought was that this source could be unnatural. It opened up a large range of possibilities, from some form of experimental nuclear submarines to winches on an enormous fishing vessel. These, though, again, were unlikely candidates. The sounds weren't right for a fishing vessel, and there were none in the area that were huge enough to produce such a large sound. There was always a possibility of some kind of military experiment taking place. It was well known that these hydrophones had been positioned in the Antarctic, so any military experiment was likely to be detected. It logically makes them something testing like that, unlikely in that particular area. Speculation on what the bloop might be continued until 2005, and the source of the bloop was discovered after even more hydrophones were placed around the Antarctic. It was discovered that the event was natural origin, at least in a way. The bloop was what's known as an ice quake. So when ice breaks off from the Antarctic glacier, it fractures, and the moving ice sets off huge vibration in the whole ice sheet. So the force of the fracture itself is actually being released. And of course, the planet is warming, more ice is breaking off from the Antarctic glacier, so more bloops are actually being detected. These ice fracture events can be of such power and magnitude that very similar to a moderate earthquake. And when the ice collides or grinds against the ocean seabed, noise created by an ice quake is actually magnified significantly.